I have another handbag unboxing for you today. This should be an interesting one. It's a pretty unique bag. You can find some of them on the pre-loved market, but I didn't see very many when I was looking for it. And this should be an interesting color too. It may need a little bit of rehabbing, but uh, we'll see. I haven't seen it in person yet. And it's been my experience that these bags look, or can look, pretty different in person. So we're gonna find out what this is and what it looks like, what kind of condition it's in when I get the box open. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube home on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals and discount codes and sales and rare finds like this bag related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get right into this. I'm excited to see this bag. It's very pretty and I'll tell you about it or what little I know about it once I get it open and reveal it to you. I'm gonna tell myself that I'm not gonna be disappointed if it's not in great condition because I kind of knew that when I bought it. So I can't be, if I have anybody to be upset with, it's myself. Okay, y'all are gonna hold me to that. They wrapped it nicely. Wow, they've got a bunch of cool stuff here. They're like serious. I got this off Etsy and, oh nice. She sent a little coupon code for me. This is the kind of coupon code that I feel like I shouldn't share because you only get it if you make a purchase from the seller. So I'll tell you who the seller is. And I don't know, if you see something that you like from them, you could message them and say, hey, this YouTuber I watch got a 10% discount code from you. Any chance I could get that off my first purchase with you? Maybe she'd say yes. She wrapped it up in paper. She put a little sticker on it. Oh, and by the way, on this card that she pre-printed, she hand wrote my name and thanks so much from Cheryl, so that's nice. So we'll take off the sticker. I don't know, I feel like if it was about that coupon code, like if it was a big shop, like if it was Coach or something, then I'd give you the discount code. But this is a small mom and pop shop, an individual shop, not even a mom and pop probably. So I just, like I wanna respect their business and help them get all the dollars, you know? Okay. See. Ooh, it's upside down. Here it is. Oh my gosh, the leather is so soft. Ooh, so soft and supple. Ooh, look how smooshy that is. Look, oh my gosh, I love that. Let me do one thing here that I've been wanting to do since I saw the listing. There, I like that better. And then I will show it to you again. Oh, I'll also pull the strap out. Now, here we go. Here's the bag. This is a coach vintage bag. It's in burgundy. I don't know if that's the official name, but that's what it was on the listing. I'll give you a quick comparison between this bag and some other bags that I have that are burgundy. There's this pouch, which is quite a bit darker in color. So there's that. And then my Rebecca Minkoff Edie in burgundy. So that's also darker, but still it's not red. I don't have any red bags to be able to compare that, but I think you can tell in the video, it's not like in your face, cherry, apple, whatever, red. It's deeper than that. And I'm so happy about that. And it's very much similar. It's kind of squished there. Let me stuff it real quick so you can see it in its glory and the shape it's supposed to be. Okay, that's better. Let me give you another spin. And I've got a few things to talk about on this bag. It's really pretty. It's in really good shape. I'm trying to look in my notebook here for the official name of this bag which was nothing impressive as I recall. It's called the shoulder bag and the style number is 4050. The official dimensions are 11 inches by eight inches by three inches deep. This is so super, super duper soft. Like I can't even tell you, it's so soft. Let me get the shoulder bag, the classic pouch to compare this to so you can see the difference. You know what, I just remembered in the listing, this was not called burgundy, it was called red. So there you go. In person though, 
it's pretty burgundy. I think it's coming up red when I show it like this on the screen because it makes the screen brighter. If I hold it back here against me, like it's not a bright red. It's In person, it's a burgundy red. And I think you can also see the variations in the dye perhaps where it looks, um, the color looks more saturated in some places than in other places. And that's totally normal for these vintage coach bags, but they look a little bit splotchy. Okay, here's the classic pouch. Again, this just has a flap with that pocket, big open space. There's the side, the back, no pocket, the side, the front. And then it has this strap, which is detachable here and adjustable on either side. This bag has the flap, but here's the really cool thing about this bag, and you can kind of see this already. When you open this flap, look how pretty. This is why I wanted one of these bags. I just love that front pocket. The drawstring, and then it has these cords. And what I fixed a minute ago is those were tied so they didn't hang down as far. You couldn't see them very well with the flap closed, but now you can and I like that. It, it's supposed to be like this and not tied like they had it. So you just can pull that drawstring open. Okay, it wasn't easy to start sliding it, but once I've done it, it is. And then let's look inside there. It's pretty clean, it looks really good. So you can open that and you can fit more in this front pocket than you can in the other bag, the classic flap. And then in here, take that stuffing out so you can see this better. It's one big open space. And on the back wall, you have a zippered pocket. And this is a metal zipper. And one of the things I've noticed as I've been looking at the coach bags is there are some that are vintage bags, like some of the classic pouches I think I've seen this with. The older ones have a metal zipper, but some of the newer ones have a nylon zipper. Personally, I've been avoiding those just because I really like these metal zippers. They're really good zippers. I'm trying to get the Creed. The Creed is stamped pretty lightly. It's a little bit hard to see there. It is made in USA and it's one of the pre date code bags. So it, it has a serial number that's individual to the bag rather than having a code that tells you when and where it was made and the style number. So side by side comparisons, you can see they're, they're the same size. There's the sides of them. I will say the, the classic pouch has more structure than the one with the drawstring. I don't know, the, leather's, the leather feels thicker on the classic pouch than it does on this red one. And then I showed you the strap on the classic pouch, how it attaches to both sides. This one, it is not detachable, but it is still adjustable here on one side and it has quite a few places where you can adjust it. That's so one, two, three, four, five, six different adjustments. And then this little piece is sewn on and there's not another one. So if you were to put it on the shortest one, for example, um, the end piece would flop around on you. The classic pouch, is a shoulder bag. It doesn't work as a crossbody even on the longest sec even on the longest setting. But let me show you this bag, which is currently on the longest setting, and it looks like it might be long enough for crossbody. So let's check it out. Yeah, it's definitely long enough for that. I would like it to be a little bit longer where the top of the bag is more like here instead of up here. Definitely works. There it is on the body on my body. Looks great. Very easy to get into. Just pull that little flap up. Both pockets are easy to get into. No pocket on the back. And then, of course, you can also just wear it as a shoulder bag. That's a good length as a shoulder bag, the longest length there. But I'll put it on the shortest length so you can see that too. And this strap, I'll show you this in a second. It's constructed differently from that one. Different from even just how it's attached and the adjustment. But there's the shortest length. Not a huge difference, but enough of a difference. That's good. And then you can see the little strap flaps around. What I wanted to show you about the construction of this strap is it's leather there leather there. It's actually two pieces of leather you can see that are glued together and then sewn on both sides. Whereas the strap on the classic pouch is leather here and then just the other side of the leather there with the leather trim wrapped around both ends. I'm really glad I bought this. It's beautiful. I'm going to put it back on the longest length because I think that's where I prefer it. I can't get over how soft and supple the leather is. It's just exquisite. And I was thinking about, as I build my vintage coach collection, I was thinking about adding a burgundy bag, and now I feel like I don't need one because this one is burgundy, even though it was labeled red. It's so nice. I just love it. I definitely see getting a lot of use out of this bag, for sure. And it's in such great shape. Like, I don't see 
any kind of significant corner wear. There's a little rubbing here. It's gonna look more pronounced on camera right there. In the listing, it looked to be in worse shape than it is in person. Isn't that funny how that works? Sometimes they come in and they're a lot better than you think they are, and sometimes they're a lot worse. But there she is. I wish she had a better name than just shoulder bag, but no one asked me, so. I may not have been born yet when this bag was made, not sure. I think I was though. Well, excellent addition to my collection. Very pleased. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.